Good morning, or whatever time of day it is. I haven't done one of these videos in a hot minute. So it's not a rant, it's gonna be a story time video, but it's gonna be like a throwback from when I was younger, so. It's a pretty rowdy kid if I do say so myself. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So let's go back to when I probably was too old to be making this mistake. I was probably 14, okay? I used to live on a farm when I was younger. I, yes, I was a crazy horse girl. I didn't talk about horses that much, but I was the girl who rode horses. I'd invite people to come over to ride horses with me even though I was like really like an introvert. I was like, uh, but you know, let's try and forget about that time of my life because <laughs> I was a weird kid. It's not like I'm weird now, I'm freaking popular now. So this is what happened. I, <laughs> you know, th there's like these vehicles called Polaris or like a gator, I'll put a picture up. So we had a really, really old one, like so old, like it came with the property when we had got it and that was like a few years before that and it was just old, it was owned by the owners who had it before. So like when it was like stopped, even like in park, it would keep going. You had to like stop it, park it, keep your brake on and then turn it all the way off just to make sure that like it was like gonna stay. I used to ride that thing like all the freaking time, like a maniac. Even though I wasn't allowed to. <laughs> I do it in secret. But it was really slow so my mom wasn't as concerned that I would hurt myself. You know what I mean? I mean, there were so many people where I lived who would ride four wheelers and their kid was like literally like a fetus and i'd be like oh my god you can ride that mom's like mm -mm. you get to drive the broken one that goes like turtle speed but if you really press the pedal to the metal that thing that thing would start like puttering and it would be like and like go freaking fast but of course i didn't tell my mom that anytime i was driving she was probably like inside doing laundry or something and i would be like okay time to go for a quick ride like super fast like <laughs> so I went with my sister Libby, so if I was 14, she was like 10, so she was a baby, and I was stupid, and I'd be, I'd be like, yeah, let's go for a ride, like, I know how to drive, I'd be like, sitting there like, and it was like that weird age where it's like, I'm not mature enough to be doing anything like this, but I'm also like, oh, I'm mature now, and I'm ashamed to say that I was 14 when this happened, but it's true. Let's get past that. So, my sister was like really tiny and scrawny. She was like tiny. Not to be mean, Libby. Sorry, but you were. I was worse. I, I was a dick half the time. So, we went on a ride. We went on a crazy ride through the orange groves. Yeah, we had an orange groves. We made our own, own orange juice. <laughs> but... One day I'm like, you know what? We were driving around, blah, blah, blah. There was like this area where we used to ride the horses and there was sand, whatever. And I was driving around in there. And Libby's like, I wanna drive, I wanna drive, I wanna drive. And for some reason we had gotten into an argument. I was really annoyed. I was like, fine, drive it yourself. Which was not allowed to happen because she was so young and so fragile. I can't speak. Fragile, fragile, whatever. And I was like, yeah, psh, whatever. So I leave. I'm like, oh, I'm going back to the barn. This, this freaking jerk. And I was so mad. I was like, I can't believe you. I don't even remember what the argument was about. It was probably about something so dumb, like who got to watch TV that night or choose the channel or something dumb like that. So <laughs> I, I was so like a few minutes go by and all of a sudden I hear a scream and I'm like oh my god what was that <laughs> my sister 
is in this like field where there's sand and she's laying on the ground and I start running. I'm running. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to be in so much trouble. My sister's dead. And I go back and there's literally like a tire mark across her chest. Tell me how this 10 year old child fell off the vehicle, <laughs> fell on the ground and somehow it turned around because it, remember it keeps driving and it rolled over her body. Thank God there was sand, dude. Or else she, <laughs> she'd been crushed. Like, oh my God. She'd been like, uh, like, literally nothing. And I was like, oh my God, I am so dead. Because of course we have to tell my mom, like she just got ran over by vehicle. And like I was freaking out I'm like oh my god I'm in so much in trouble I'm like the freaking most irresponsible older sister there ever I suck and Libby's sitting there like oh my god I just got ran over by a freaking four wheel I was like oh my god at the time I wasn't laughing I was probably like legit crying like this is the end of my life like Things are going to be taken away. I'm not going to be able to go anywhere. Not like I went anywhere, but like, you know what I mean. So I was freaking out. And I was like, why would you let her drive that by herself? And I was like, mom, I want to know how the frick she ran over herself. <laughs> I'm like, I wish there was video footage of that day. Because I really am curious how she had fallen for that long. By the way, I love my sister. But then, since she was the youngest, she was very dramatic because, you know, I was the oldest, I was a pain. She was also the baby and wanted the attention. Like, it's just like the normal dynamic of siblings. So, like, she was also very dramatic. Like, if I pushed her when she was younger, she'd be like, act like she, like, freaking fell down the stairs. And she'd be like, oh my god, mom, Sophie pushed me down the stairs. I'd be like, I don't even have those capabilities. What are you talking about? Mom's like grounded and I'm like whatever I mean I don't do anything anyway so like that kind of thing typical and I was annoying too I'd push her button sometimes so she she had the leverage to do whatever she wanted because I was kind of but yeah that's the story of how my sister ran over herself at the age of 10 because I'm irresponsible and let her be all by herself with the vehicle. It's pretty much, that's, I mean, there's nothing more to the story. Really, that's it. I just got in trouble because I'm an idiot and left her out there by herself. Um, yeah, I, this is gonna be a short, this is a short video. I'm really sorry, but that's like a short story. And that was pretty fun to film, honestly. It's pretty early in the morning, actually. I can't believe I actually did this. But, you know, that was fun. And thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'm going to continue to do these throwback stories because there are so many stories that are so ridiculous that I did. I was literally so weird as a kid. And so I, my sister and I together were just bad mix of just dumb and dumber doing stupid stuff. So... Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. And thank you for watching. Peace.